Towards the end of the Civil War on September 19, 1863, the Union marked the end of their offensive strike in northwest Georgia and the second bloodiest battle of the war, the Battle of Chickamauga. In this conflict, the Union's 15th Infantry tragically lost half their men. Recently, soldiers from the 1st Battalion, 15th Infantry Regiment, and three Korean War veterans from the 15th Infantry Regiment Association made a trip to the Chickamauga National Military Park to hold a wreath-laying ceremony at the monument constructed to honor those who lost their lives. The main purpose of the trip was to show our new soldiers uh, what this battalion has done in our nation's past, uh, the proud history of the unit, uh, because they are our unit's present and our future. The trip did not end with just a wreath-laying ceremony. The soldiers and vets were then treated to a guided tour throughout the hills of Chickamauga to visit the many different monuments placed on important sites on the battlefield. They learned of the struggles that both the Union and Confederacy encountered during the two-day battle. One of the major points of the lesson was that even though the war took place in the 1800s and with completely different weapon systems, the principles of war and the values exemplified by the soldiers that fought are still relevant today. Something to be proud of. I mean, since we're already at war right now, is just see how the war, pretty much how they used to fight it back then and how we fight it now and just how the similarities between the soldiers and how we feel now and the struggles that we went through. By the end of the cold North Georgia day, the soldiers and veterans were given the chance to feel closer to their unit's lengthy past and to walk on the same path that their can-do brothers walked in nearly a decade and a half ago. I really think that it gives them a sense of history, which is something that we need to pay more attention to. It's extremely important that People can look back in history and learn lessons from different things that happened. This definitely won't be their last trip to this sacred ground. When the entire unit returns stateside, Lurch plans to bring all 900 soldiers for a 15th Infantry history lesson. Matt Gallup, Fort Benning TV.